Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and today I'm going to help you choose um, the, how to pick antivirus for your antivirus software for your business. Right, there are a few things you need to consider when you're choosing an antivirus software. So the first one being your systems. So what kind of systems do you have? Uh, do you have Windows, Mac, Linux? Most businesses have Windows, right? You need to check with the vendor, do they support these environments, right? Every antivirus supports Windows, that's a given. So do they support Mac and Linux? That's the one you need to double check. So next thing, how, the, how your systems are set up. Are you, all of you in one location or different locations? Or do you have road, road warriors, people that use laptops, uh, tablets, you know, uh, out of the office all the time? So how do you manage the updates uh, to those uh, PCs? Um, so you need to double check with that. So the, there, there are a couple of ways. Traditionally, it has been antivirus solutions have been like on-premise solutions, you have a server and clients, and people, you know, um, endpoints could get updates from the server. But now most AV solutions are moving to cloud. You may well, you may be, you may have to consider um, SaaS solution, which is a cloud-based one, uh, so that wherever your PCs, your your endpoints are, they can get updates easily. Um, and also, you don't have to maintain a server and pay for licenses and all that. So that's another one you need to check. So that does the a, um, AV vendor you're, 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 you're looking at, do they offer a SaaS solution? And next thing, performance. How is the AV um, performing on your endpoints? Some AV solutions could be quite intensive, um, quite uh, resource heavy, uh, and some may not. Uh, you need to double check with uh, that as well. Um, well, most AV vendors might say, oh, we are not very processor heavy. We, we only use three meg or one meg or things like that. But the best way to check is to have a trial. Try a solution. Once um, the solution takes other boxes, then try it and then you can take it from there. Package. Um, so is it is the AV, some AV vendors offer AV solution with a content filtering, web filtering, and you can also schedule the web filtering and some offer patch management, some do remote login, um, ass remote assistance service as well. So you will need to double check if your business is using or if your business needs uh, one of these services like patching. Okay, do you update, um, uh, do you manage all your patches from one place or do you use other software for that? Can you consult somehow consolidate all of them into this so that you can save money and time, right? So. That's another one. Um, usually, these these the, the, the extra packages, extra add-ins, or extra cost, but it may be it may very well be very cheap, very inexpensive when you're buying an AV. Support. How is the support? Um, so, if you're a UK-based business, do they have a UK-based support team? Um, do they have uh, what's the, what's their response levels? Um, so that's something you need to double check. And the most important thing, last but not least, and the most important is the cost. Okay, the how much is this costing you? Uh, or how much is, is this costing? So once you um, honed in on a couple of AV solutions, you can do a cost comparison, which one, which one is you know, uh, working best for you. And also you need to, um, it's not just price. Some AV, AV uh, solutions might look cheaper, but they may not have a local support team, or they may not have they may not have a SaaS solution. Uh, updates might be late and all that. So you need to uh, be careful with, with all of them. And protection. Finally, um, this is a very very important thing, right? So does the AV solution actually protect your systems? We uh, from TechForce. This is my opinion um, and our opinion here that. We, any business should not be looking at traditional AV solutions. So any uh, traditional antivirus solutions in the sense uh, the solutions that you just work on signatures and definitions basis, uh, you should be looking at solutions that use EDR technology, endpoint detection, uh, detection and response uh, technology. So there are few we would recommend uh, looking at. If you go, go to Gartner Peer Insights, you can look at them as well. Um, so, and, and name th those few are you, um, Carbon Black, Sentinel One, CrowdStrike, Panda Security. So, these four, which we usually recommend, um, you, you can look at, take a look at them, and decide which one works for your business.
you have any questions, please get in touch. And also, we have a um, small checklist for you. If you are comparing few AV solutions, um, you can download it below. Thank you very much.